Hey, 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 beautiful twin flames, and welcome back to Tarot for You 444. I'm still guided just to do audios at this time, so bear with me. I know many of you like to see me holding the cards up and all of that stuff, but this is a, a bit of a weird period between flames, and so I really want you to just hear my voice, listen to my voice, hear the message coming through. Uh, without any distraction okay <clears throat> wow hmm we've got secrets of divine masculine today and it's not in the right order of my normal playlist either but I'm guided to share with you what's going on because I know many of you are in separation from your twin and you don't know what's going on okay i feel like many of you cannot feel them uh in the ethereal realm wow <clears throat> we have got a communication card coming straight out and of course if you haven't been here before my throat chakra will clear by the end of this video it always happens when divine masculine wants to speak so i'm just going to pull the cards now and tell you what's going on because many of you don't know and many of you <clears throat> wow feeling quite alone at this time okay alrighty so we've got bottom of the deck we have this energy of the king of pentacles here we also have the chariot okay so this man your divine masculine he may hold a responsible position or he may even own his own business <clears throat> wow he's practical he is very shrewd has probably got considerable wealth and you may not know about this he has been or is married uh, for some of you and is stable with his emotional center and slow to anger um, the chariot is here representing this need for him to have a conquest over difficult odds he wants to have this victory <clears throat> and he wants to achieve great things you know even pushing through any kind of fear that he has with really strong and optimistic determination he's so motivated to get to you and this is coming through in the physical reality okay so in the 3d this is what he is trying to do we also have the knight of swords here and this is an indication that for some of you your divine masculines are sort of popping in and out uh, with their communication and it kind of feels a little bit like there might be some ego here so what's going on with the divine masculine is that when he comes and speaks to you he's trying to hold it together a little bit and then when he goes back into the karmic life um, you know dealing with third dimensional consciousness people he's having to perhaps argue with them perhaps you know put his foot down with them or you know in some kind of way he's needing to um you know tell them tell them off or tell them what's you know that something's not acceptable you know it's kind of this in and out feeling where in his everyday life he's he's trying to be practical and realistic but the people around him are quite the opposite okay so this energy has been coming through through different decks for the past week or so in the recent past we have this world situation and the tower as well so it's like perhaps the dark night of the soul you know perhaps he's pissed off about the world situation still um, but he's he's decided to move ahead anyway and we have 
another travel card here the six of swords this is the divine masculine wanting to head into the right direction in a physical kind of way the ace of cups is in reverse and the judgment is in reverse he feels a little bit disconnected from the love here he feels as though um <clears throat> there's been something you know standing in the way of him coming in and showing his love okay so this can be related to that knight of swords energy where he's had to be you know speaking with people pissed off with people you know telling them shutting them down because they're being um you know belligerent or unfair in some kind of way um and of course <clears throat> wow when you're arguing with people this is why the throat chakra is really bad today because when you argue with people um you know you're not coming from that heart space and so you end up closing off the heart uh chakra and this causes you know the blockage to occur in the throat chakra many of you have a divine masculine who is or has already proposed to you or if not he's already in a partnership or a marriage with someone else <clears throat> the secret with this relationship is that there is this disillusionment here there is this you know they were trying to make it work for a time but it's just causing them anxiety you know this love between soulmates has caused constant worry confusion overthinking even arguing and and so for many of them they are focused on their work <clears throat> wow divine feminine some of you may not be taking care of yourself as well as you could be i'm also feeling that coming through in the reading today i'm going to take a look at you divine feminine and see where you're at so that we can get a snapshot of what's going on for you and then we'll bring the energies together okay yeah here we go <clears throat> wow we have the nine ones in reverse here this is having low self-esteem in the recent past you know not being confident in yourself not believing in yourself feeling exhausted from what's going on around you in the physical world and perhaps even shutting off your heart space closing your energy off to the divine masculine now the problem with this is that you know if you're pissed off with someone if you're annoyed with someone if you had to speak your truth to someone or block someone you know this causes the heart chakra to close okay so you need to i've said this many times before you need to be like a jellyfish and allow this to go through you and be non-reactive to the people around you as much as possible because your divine masculine can feel you closing off your energy here now i know that in your mind you've got this beautiful thought of your divine masculine you know he's kind he's honorable he's mature he's generous you know very sexy and in a way many of you are thinking you know well he's the one that's off balance he's the one that's not coming in he's the guy who i'm waiting on the message you know i'm waiting on a message from him okay perhaps you know you're even thinking he's always at work or he's always um i don't know transforming and he's he's not coming in or he's being manipulative in some kind of way many of you are in your head about your divine masculine right now okay now the truth is in the twin flame journey that there is only love and you know 
<laughs> we literally have the lovers card here in reverse and the ten of pentacles next to it so many of you are forgetting this is a heart to heart soul to soul third eye to third eye or intuitive connection and you're allowing what's going on in your life perhaps or you're allowing yourself to get upset because he hasn't come in um you know you're like well where is he i'm doing the work or where is he i'm you know we're supposed to be together or where is he you know i'm i'm doing my best you know and what happens is that as you get into this pissed off energy or this i'm going to call it annoyed energy right you know divine masculine can feel this energetically okay and what you do is you push him away so you want to take out you want to take out any bad feeling or ill feeling that you have against your divine masculine or blame even if he's in a karmic connection with another woman and I want you to see him as uh, you know the most beautiful man take gender how it resonates for you that you've ever known in your life okay our thoughts are creative and what you tell yourself on a daily basis with regard to your twin flame journey is highly important it looks like many of you believe that your divine masculine is perhaps with another woman or maybe he is with another woman and you don't like this other woman if that's the case uh, for many of you, you understand that there are other family members in the way of this connection and so you kind of feel frustrated about that but divine masculine wants to tell you something now with regard to your connection so I'm going to just delve in and tell you what he wants to say <coughs> wow <laughs> first card out of the deck is i don't know why he wants to say sweetheart he does he wants to say sweetheart in the recent past i've this is only for some of you but in the recent past he's saying that he's had some financial loss he perhaps even lent some money out to someone He's going through some financial hardship some unfortunate times around money now your divine masculine is very loving he's very intelligent he could be a water sign he's coming through as the king of cups right now a sociable and very generous man a loyal and very responsible person who is warm-hearted I'm not sure why this is relevant but there's a male baby coming through so some divine feminines may have a boy or some divine masculines may have a boy or one on the way okay but that's just a little side a side note for some of you okay so what does he want to tell you right now what does he want to tell you right now this is important now he's saying divine feminine i need you to stay positive because there's good news coming my way about money and about business deals and my fortune i feel like it's just around the corner okay many of them are trying to get across the water to come and see you okay this this constant theme comes through a lot divine masculine is also looking at your social media or your photographs or your pictures in some kind of way and many of them have been taken advantage of by another woman okay uh, this can be their mother this can be a sibling this can be a cousin this can be a karmic partner but we literally have this need for him to stand his ground 
Um, he's realizing that he's, you know, he can be successful when he doesn't allow others to, to make his self-esteem low. All right. So the nine of wands is also coming through for him uh, now. And it's, it's this interesting energy because it's next to the six of wands here and the six of wands is all about victory completing a task a triumph fantastic news on the way and success but then there's also this energy here of that something from the past has created created divine masculine to have this low self-esteem okay so i feel like this issue around money is perhaps embarrassing for some of the divine masculines you know they might be the most loving man in the world and you know many divine feminines will describe their divine masculines as being sexy as being brilliant as being sweet as being kind and all of those wonderful qualities but for a masculine energy who is a creator of uh you know things you know, they like to build their wealth. They like to, um, you know, be in control, especially with money. Um, if they're having a hard time financially, this can bring them a little bit of embarrassment. And so many of them are staying away because of this, um, because they're embarrassed. And also because they've got some kind of karmic woman in the picture that there is, you know, maybe taking advantage of, for some, uh, maybe, let me just get some clarifiers on here because I feel like I don't want to say it until I see it, but there could be someone. Hang on. Let me just see what the cards say. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so the other woman, we've got the other woman card okay has been burdened all right okay here we are so this is only relevant if your divine masculine's got another woman or women in his life that he has to help in some kind of way all right so he has in the recent past there's been overthinking related to this other woman self-punishment and guilt has been here this low self-esteem okay now we have the ten of wands also in reverse denoting that in the recent past you know this woman was really really taking advantage of his kindness perhaps you know even yelling or perhaps making him you know jump through more hoops than he had to she's coming through as being a woman that you shouldn't underestimate at any time so really cutting with her words and making him off balance in regard to his emotions so normally he's calm and slow to anger normally he's practical but she's you know perhaps even taking advantage of his wealth in some kind of way or even putting this feeling on him like you know you never do enough for me uh, i you know i you're not here for me enough you know you're not giving me enough you know you're always I don't know I feel like she's saying you're always on social media or you're I don't know like you're always doing things for yourself that kind of energy is coming through here and he is really loving and kind so it's not going down well with him and it's actually hurting him a lot so his his self-esteem is low right now and there is this non-communication here either because of money or because he feels this loss and sorrow from from this woman okay so he also is afraid too that if he comes in that you know divine feminine might get a bit moody and he just can't handle any more of that he 
he may have also recently lost a relationship that he found important and he's kind of just trying to get himself in balance before he comes and communicates back to the divine feminine so if you're waiting for a communication it's either because your divine masculine has got some kind of money issue going on and he's embarrassed about it uh, or there is a woman or women in his life uh, female energies here a lot of them are coming through that are taking advantage of his kindness and perhaps uh, making him feel low in self-esteem and so of course you know you're not going to feel sexy and, and, and cute and gorgeous if someone else is making running you down which is what I'm feeling here for divine masculine okay so let's see if you're worrying about your divine masculine we have spirit here uh, trying to give you a bit more clarity okay spirit is saying your divine masculine has been affected by a female energy here at least one female energy here it made him in the recent past feel restless and lose his creative spark okay perhaps even placing too many thoughts in the wrong area and taking on board what's going on many divine masculines are thinking about moving away moving away from their karmic partner and many of them are praying or getting help from uh, they're getting help from someone in spirit uh, is there watching over them or perhaps um, it's uh, you know an older man helping them out in some kind of way but they feel like they need to move away from this yucky energy there is the moving card here uh, stating that you know divine masculine just needs to really get out of there uh, because the energies aren't good we also have the twin flame card here four of wands denoting that he really is thinking about divine feminine you know in the back of the mind in the back of his mind despite what's going on he really is thinking of her um, but also knowing that he's got to get himself uh, grounded a little bit more again because you know on an emotional scale he's really being pushed to the limit here um, and some of you divine feminine may feel like you want to have a cry or feel like a little bit anxious perhaps uh, and this is because your divine masculine is going through what he's going through I'm still feeling guided to bring you some more messages so I won't be too long I'm just gonna ask for four more cards now and see what else he wants to tell you because I know many of you are really worried about your divine masculines okay let go of that worry and know that the divine is you know on your team okay wow Whew. okay good 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 this is great all right so it looks like very soon this energy is going to turn around and your divine masculine is going to become passionate again he did have a dispute with someone someone was being malicious towards him you know he was arguing uh, about things he was passionate about feeling like he couldn't break free trapped anxious having feelings of frustration so if you're feeling any of that divine feminine it's because your divine masculine was okay he is your divine masculine if you're listening to this today he is a male with integrity he is very honest and a very hard working man and the only reason he's not come in and shown you the love is because someone in his life has taken that love away from him um, which has caused him uh, to close off his heart chakra but he's going to you know 
being alone for a while is going to make him stronger. Um, he's he's trying to you know fight with this. Uh, it's like a little bit of an internal battle too. Um, I feel like the person he's arguing with is someone he loves. Um, and it says, you know, we have new beginnings on the way. So look out for more passionate messages coming your way really, really soon. Um, you know, it looks like he's going <laughs> to, I was going to say kick her to the curb, but I don't mean that in a really mean way. I just mean, you know, he's he's going to kind of go, well, look, I just can't freaking deal with this anymore and I'm going to have to move on um, because if I want to get married, if I want to have this, you know, new beginning in my life in general, nothing even to do with the twin flames, but I need to feel good within myself. You know, I can't feel like I'm give, give, giving all the time to someone who's not appreciative. And so he's taking this time right now um, to to change. You know, he's he's got hope. He's got... Uh, yeah, it says money is coming his way. All the hard work that he's been doing is about to pay off. <laughs> and then <laughs> I've got a caveat here because I can't promise you anything. But it also says at the bottom of the card, you will live a life of complete comfort and happiness. <laughs> so I can't promise you anything. Disclaimer, this, <laughs> this video is for entertainment purposes only. But it seems like that there's a definite, definite gonna gonna be a change coming now you know he may have lost this relationship with this other person perhaps but they were being very manipulative and very controlling you know making him be off balance and he really is a passionate person so he wants to come in and be sexually pass passionate you know he wants to travel to you he wants to be honorable and kind to everyone around him um your divine masculine may also have um, brown, blue or hazel eyes, it says here on the card. So I want to tell you to keep the faith today. I want to tell you that these energies that we're going through right now is kind of a period of weirdness. But don't worry, don't lose hope, don't lose faith. Just keep going within. You know, if you pray, do that. If you meditate, do that. If you do some kind of yoga or dance or something else um you know that aligns you with your soul something joyful continue doing that and um you know just don't lose hope because now is the time when the miracles are starting to come their you know our way because you know christmas is just around the corner um and there's going to be this new feeding i don't want to use the word feeding of energy coming through okay now if you need me reach out to me i do half an hour uh private readings or i do one hour and you can ask me eight questions about anything you want i also offer candle water readings uh which is uh, kind of fun kind of cool one of my favorite types of readings or we can split an hour reading into a half an hour of tarot and a half an hour of candle water if you want to do that way the Ascension package is working really well for people, many people coming now into union with their twin flames. Um, and for those of you who aren't quite there yet, the manifesting course uh, will kind of, I don't know, uh, be the best asset that you can add to that course. Um, check out my uh, details below for any of the services. And if any of you are having trouble with payment and things like that, you can always contact me and we can arrange, you know, a payment arrangement or something. So, so don't ever stress on that. And of course, if I do do a reading for you, I'll only answer the questions you want me to answer and I'll give you uh, what spirit says that, you know, the advice is. So don't ever worry that, I, you know, I won't go and tell you that anything that you don't want to know. <laughs> okay i'll only ever stick to the questions that you give me all right i love you all so much i'm going to continue doing audios for a little while until i'm guided back to doing uh videos where you can see me and i hope you have a beautiful day night afternoon evening or morning wherever you are in the world bye everyone bye